Hey Flashtube, it's Jo here and welcome to my fifth Flashtube video. I'd like to say thank you for everybody who's subscribed and everybody who comments on my videos. It's absolutely amazing and wonderful. I really enjoy replying to every comment and I will reply to every comment that somebody leaves me. If um, you take the time to re leave a comment for me, I obviously will give you that time back and reply and um, yeah, get to spend time getting to know each other, which I really enjoy. Um, if you're new here, my name's Jo, I'm crazy about cross stitch um, I've started doing floss tube videos in August and it's something that I look forward to. I do one a month and um, maybe in the future I might do more than one a month but at the moment I do monthly updates. Um, so yeah, so it's been a crazy, crazy November, uh, lots of stitching. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into it. So let's start. Um, so the last video that I did, I was halfway through a week and I was working on a kit, which was the Green Dancer. I worked on it a little bit more, obviously after filming. So I'll show you my progress on this. It wasn't a lot that I managed to do. So, um, this was a kit that I got off wish.com um, so it's a Chinese kit this is what it will look like when it's finished and after my five days that I spent on it and my rotation before I let it put it away I managed to get that much done I'm working on the Ada that was provided, it's 16 counts and obviously using the floss that was provided as well so not much, it's a start, doesn't look like anything, it's just background but it's a start. <laughs> so after that we got to the weekend and the last time I spoke to you, I was trying to finish, just let me grab it, an old whip that I had, which was another kit that I've had for ages, which was the um, summer tray. And I was quite close to finishing it. Um, well, I say quite close, it's the, 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 uh, the cross, the only whip that I've got that's, that's nearest to a finish um, and it is exactly the same as I shown it last time I just can't stitch on it every time I pick it up it kills my stitching bug it's just oh it's so close I really, I really need to get back into this, but I just, it just destroys my stitching bug as soon as I try and pick it up and I'm just like, it's, it's like, it's hard work. It's so many colour changes for one to two stitches. I mean, I don't mind confetti, but, oh, it's just, it's just a nightmare. Um... So yeah, it's exactly the same as it was. I've not touched it all month. I think I'm going to just put it to one side for now until I actually feel like stitching on it instead of trying to make myself stitch on it. I've got makeup all underneath my eyes. I'm a mess today, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's going away for a bit, I think. I'm not even going to attempt to stitch on it because it just... It, yeah it takes my stitching bug away and then I just I don't want to stitch on anything so that's definitely going to the side so after the green dancer and after that nightmare I decided to work on one of my other wits which was the friend sophistication which I'll show you in a bit um so I worked on that for the weekend and then 
on the 5th of November I started a magazine pattern um, it is out of the 365 cross stitch designs and it was the 2017 one and I was doing the garden window which is this one which I absolutely love it's so pretty and I think there's more I think there's I definitely know because I've got another I've got another year of this magazine and there is a one which is like all green um and it looks like it's out of this there's a shed in the background I think and that so I definitely know there's another one that goes with this I'm not too sure if there's any more but yeah it's designed by Susan Bates and I'm doing it on 16 count Ada all the colourful colours and that's how far I got so I started in the middle and I started working my way across to the right hand side and I just started filling in the window bits as I was going along as I was doing the white window frame to split it up so I'd do a length of white and then I'd do a colour and then I'd swap back to a length of white so that's how far I got with five days and it was a it was lovely to work on first time using ecru never used ecru before um lots of b5 200 in it so yeah it's uh and there's a lot of back stitching in that so when i get to the top right hand corner i will start doing the back stitching as i go along so it's not all left to the end because if you've watched any of my other videos you know i'm not a big back stitcher <laughs> i'm not i'm not keen on back stitching but yeah so that was gown and window then on the 12th of november actually no then there was a weekend between that and i was doing the french sophistication piece which i'll show you in a bit um so i worked on that all weekend and then on the 12th of november i was supposed to be starting <laughs> it's, been, it's been a weird month i was supposed to be starting a giant reef pattern from the decorative victorian needlework and i picked this pattern it's a giant reef it's 320 stitches by 320 stitches i was really looking forward to do it doing it i was going to do a color conversion so it was going to be all pinks and whites and browns um which i was going to match to something that i've already got and I picked it up, I started working it on 18 count Ada because I wanted it to be quite big. Um, when I looked at doing it on 14 count Ada it was going to be huge. So this is what it was supposed to look like. So I put 100 stitches in it and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, I just... I just couldn't do it when I looked at it there is 38 40 50 60 70. these 70 76 colors in this and when I tried to I mean I change colors all the time I'll put change one or two colors but when I looked at trying to change 76 colours, I just, I couldn't do it. Um, so I made the decision there and then that I wasn't going to stitch this. Um, I don't know if it was that I wasn't in the right frame of mind for doing it. I don't know. But when I looked at trying to change these colours, I was just like, you know what? It's too much work. Um, I'm sure 
there was many roof patterns out there that unmatched the colour palette that I wanted. Um, so it, it'd be just make more sense to find a pattern that I liked with the colours already um, already there than trying to convert 76 colours in a pattern um, to what I actually want. So I decided not to do that. So that was put away straight away. So I needed to pull out another book pattern and I had this one planned for this month actually for December. So I decided to pull this one out and I haven't got a picture of it. There isn't a picture, it's just a pattern. But it is out of the um, flowers in cross stitch and I've already done one of these. It was in my last video, last tube number four. And it was daffodils and I wanted to have some snowdrops to go with the daffodils for the kitchen. This, so they're the only two that I'm doing out of this book. I've done everything that I want out of this book for now. Um, so yeah, I started to do the snowdrops. I did the daffodils on um, 14 count Ada. And I decided to do the snowdrops on... 18 count Ada because I wanted it to be smaller than the daffodils because I wanted different sizes so um, I didn't get very far with it because after putting the um, reef away I lost my stitchy bug for a bit um, didn't last long it's back but um, yeah it, it kind of threw me off a little bit so that's how far I have got with the snowdrops so it'll go a bit further up to here some more um of the stalks and the leaves and then there's about five or six more snowdrops so magic guide cauliflower colors and yeah so that's how far i got with that so in the week just after that I was still working on, in the mornings, I was working on um, Christmas in London, Marabelia, and in the evenings I was working on the French sophistication piece, um, just for an hour, and I will show you that. So it was out of the World of Cross Stitching, and it was issue 243, so it's this one and if you've been watching my videos um, you would have seen this but that's what it will look like when it's finished and it's Shannon Christine designs and the last time you saw it I won't insert a picture just about pictures um, I've actually figured out how to edit now so I know how to insert pictures so I know how to cut clips together and um, so hopefully fingers crossed I will be able to have just one video instead of two because um, because of previous videos I've known one for what I've been stitching and then one for plans for the following month um, and was unable to insert pictures and now I'm all tech savvy, I've figured out how to do it, so um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be one video with all the pictures inserted. So the reason I'm not going to insert a picture was because the last time you saw it, I'd done all the cross stitching, I'd just started the back stitching and I needed the beads, be do the beading. So I worked on that for an hour or two every evening and obviously the weekends that I've already mentioned and it is a finish and i love it i really really love this and i just want to say i've only done a tiny little bit of beading before i've done the free mirabilia butterfly pattern off the website that was my first time ever using crinic and using beads so there was only about 30 beads on that and then I have added on the dimensions kit, which is, I think, in my second video that I finished. Um, instead of doing French knots, I added a few white beads. I think I added about six or seven or eight white beads. And that's my only um, experience with beading. So this is my first heavily, heavily beaded piece. And oh, I love beading. So I'm not a back stitcher, but I'm definitely a beader. I 
absolutely was oh yeah I like reading I was using invisible thread which when I first started using invisible thread I was like I can't I can't deal with this it's 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 just really hard to work with um the previous two um cross stitches that I just mentioned the mirabilia and the um dimensions kit I used the flossed floss that was um obviously around where the bead was so this was the first time using invisible thread nylon invisible thread it took me a while but I managed to work out how to do it and once I got started and I got past that little issue um yeah I absolutely was over the moon with it so this is the French sophistication and I love it I can't wait to be able to get out of this flat when I'm better and go and get a frame for this I want a really ornate shabby chic white frame So yeah, so that was my finish on the 14th of November. Done on 14 count um, Ada, all the colourful colours, three different colours of Mill Hill beads. I did mention when I first started doing it, I thought I would probably need two packs of the silver. I did need two packs of the silver. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to see all the beads, but... Yeah, so that was my finish. So that's my first finish for November. I am, um, I'm so happy with that. It was lovely to work on. So yeah, so that's, that's a finish. Then on the 19th of November, I started an internet pattern. It was a free pattern off, I don't even know the website that it's off. I will insert what the website's called if it's still there. I'll insert it here and I'll also insert a picture of what it looks should look like here because I don't have one, it's just the pattern. Um, so you'll be able to see what it's like. It is it's a six is it 16 pages it's 16 pages it's a big it's a big um cross stitch um i'm doing the call for colors i started in the middle i think it's 500 and something Let's see it's 537 stitches wide by 231 stitches high so I'm doing an 18 count fabric and I nearly did the first page it's not full coverage the background's white um, so it's a partial page but I nearly finished the first page so I need to Fill in this bit, there's a tiny little bit here that needs filling in. Let me fold this up better. As you know, I work in a hoop, so. So yeah, so this bit, this bit to fill in here, there's this little bit here to do. I've got fill in this little bit here and then just a little bit here and then that is the first page done. The reason that it's not filled in is because I didn't have them colours when I was doing it. And if I'd ordered them, they wouldn't have turned up in time. So um, I've not ordered them yet, but that is where I am up to on that. And I love the colours. I absolutely love the colours. My bedroom's purple, so um, this will be going in my bedroom once it's finished. So this is the top of one pansy the side of one pansy, the side of another pansy. So obviously go down, this will be the rest of the flower. There'll be a flower here, flower here, and then it'll carry on. 
so yeah so that was five days of stitching well four and a half because i'd run out of um floss and i didn't want to start a new page because i thought well i'd like to finish this page first before i um move on to the next page so yeah so that's where i got up to then at the weekend i'd done the French sophistication piece, I'd finished that. I'd already decided that I wasn't going to do the summer tree because I just couldn't. So, um, because I'd hardly worked on it and I was supposed to be working on it every hour of every day um, in the morning, um, which is obviously my Meraviglia, I pulled that out and worked on it for a bit. It's Christmas in London. Um, if you've not seen it before, she's stunning and there she is. I will insert a picture of where I was. And this is where I'm up to. I'm doing it on the car fall, leaning in 32 count. Obviously, I'm not doing the conversion, I'm just doing the colours that it is. I didn't get very far with it. Like I said, I'm supposed to be working on this an hour every day and I've hardly touched it, but I did work on it that weekend. So I will show you where I'm up to now. So that's where I am up to. Mm -hmm. So I've done some of the dress, obviously where there is gaps, there's beads, a bit more of the dress here. Then I started working my way across to the urn or pots and then that's as far as I got I'm deciding I'm gonna to go to the end of the page and then I'm gonna work up and then work across and then down so but that's as far as I got with that after that weekend I didn't touch it again then I am um, I just put it down um so that'll go away now until oh I'm not too sure until maybe a weekend where I feel the need to pick it up again um, but for now she's uh, she's gonna stay like that while I carry on doing my uh, rest of my 55 new starts so that brought us up to the 26th of November and this is what I've been working on all week um, and I was doing a kit, it was the John Stubbs edition Heritage Stitch Craft Barn Owl. I got this off eBay, I got it for a couple of pounds, I really liked it. Um, my idea for finishing is to do it pretty much exactly the same as this, um, a green mount, a brown frame, but then I'm going to get some ivy and I'm going to pop it around the outside. I'm going to put some pine cones and um, some other foliage um, and stick it to the frame. So that's my idea for that finish. And this, I have loved working on this. This is, this, this last week on this, it's been a joy, an absolute joy. It's on 27 count even weave first time i've ever used even weave i've used the fabric that came in the kit i've used the um floss that came with the kit and i have not put this down all week and i have loved working on this so this is as far as i got And I absolutely love this. This, near enough, all the colours in the owl, all this round here and this, except from the greens, basically everything except from the greens and the bit of white here are blends. They're all blended threads. So I've started in the middle, which was the owl. It was here. I worked my way across, then worked my way up, and then across. This is the edge of the piece. This is the top of the piece. 
it goes to about here and then down to about here so it has been an absolute joy there's a couple of stitches here that I'm missing because it's a blend um, and I don't want to use the floss at the moment I'm going to save that until the end but um, yeah oh. I didn't want to put this down I still don't want to put this down <laughs> I'm just, I'm in love with this. It looks so good. The picture doesn't do it justice. I don't think the picture does it justice. It's like that with nearly enough every cross stitch pattern though. You look at the pattern and you think, yeah, it's nice. And then you start stitching it and it's like, look at it, it's absolutely stunning. So yeah, I'm a little bit upset that I have to put this away. <laughs> but yeah, I've 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 loved it. Absolutely loved working on that. A joy, and for a pattern, uh, for a a, a a um a cross stitch that I've paid a couple of pounds for, including postage, was just yeah, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So. I am going to pause the video here a second. I'm going to put some stuff away. I'm on 26 minutes and my phone only records 30 minutes at a time. So I'm going to come back with um, what I worked on in the evening of that week because I'd finished the French sophistication piece. And then I will tell you what I'm planning on stitching for December and uh, the results of the giveaway um and a little bit of a life update so i will see you in a bit okay bye for now hey guys i'm back i need to move back a bit so i'm in frame um so yeah so i've got a mirror there for some reason i was checking my makeup to move that out of the way so yeah um for the rest of that week because i finished the french sophistication piece I um, decided to work on the Union Jack pillow um, that I was doing um, out of the Art of Cross Stitch. So I'll insert a picture of where I was up to. And on the 29th of November, Thursday night, I finished it. So changed the colours to match my living room. Sorry, I've got itchy nose. What is it with floss tube itchy nose? So, yeah, I finished it. And here it is. So it needs washing, ironing. And originally, I was thinking of making this into a cushion. Well, not me, myself. Um, it was going to be given to my sister um, to be made into a cushion as she is a sewer and she has a sewing machine and it saves me trying to do it with by hand but I'm thinking I don't know if I want to frame it so I'm I'm not too sure yet I don't know if I'm gonna frame it or if I'm gonna make it into a pillow but yeah it's finished so yeah Two finishes for the month of November and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in December. I've not got any great plans for December except from obviously my starts um, as for finishing things I don't think it's going to happen but we'll see how far we go and we'll see what happens. You never know, you never know. Um, so yeah, so that was everything that I stitched on for the month of November. So that brings us up to plans for December. So there is one, two, three, four, five, five Mondays in December. So that's five starts. And I will also be starting one on Christmas Day, which is the Tuesday. So I'll have six planned starts for the month of December. The first Monday, which is the third, 
I will be doing a magazine pattern. It is called Belle of the Ball or Cinderella Scene. It's a Shannon Christian design. It's from the World of Cross Stitch. I'm not too sure which um, which issue it is. I will have a look and see if I can find out. I do not have a printed copy of this. It is on my PDF. So I will insert a picture here. And I'm actually going to be doing it on 14 count navy a dot higher. I've got some navy a dot in stash that I got from my auction. I've never stitched on any coloured a dot or coloured fabric. I've only ever stitched on white or cream or ecru or you know a pale neutral colour. So I decided to do this one on the navy because I wanted to give it a go and see what it looks like and I already have the fabric for it so I'm looking forward to doing this. I have ordered the threads, they should they are on the way. Actually when I check my post box I probably have a big order from so and so. Um so yeah so that will be the first start. On the 10th of December I will be starting a book pattern. I will be stitching out of the Cross Stitchers Oriental Odyssey, which is Joan Elliott. I got this off Amazon and I will be stitching Wisdom. So there she is. I will be using the colourful colours. I'm going to stitch it on 16 count Ada, uh, which is also on its way from the uh, from so and so with all the threads. So that's going to be my book start, which I'm really looking forward to. My first John Elliot, so I'm really excited about that. Then on the 17th of December, I am going to be stitching a internet pattern. It's a free pattern. It is from Tilton Crafts. It's still on there. It's I'm sure it's still on there. I only got picked this up a couple of months ago. And it is the Cupcake Dreams one. I'm going to be doing this on... 18 count Ada. It's a hundred and fifty stitches by two hundred. Um, so I'm doing it on 18 count Ada. I think I'm doing it on 18. The plan is, is that obviously the cupcake is stitched, and then the background is white. It's B5 200. So if I do it on 18 count Ada, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the cupcake, and then I'm going to do the B5 200 um, background. But I kind of like the idea, I think this would look really nice on like a real pale green fabric, just the cupcake. So I'm going to have a look on eBay, um, see if I can find something that I like. And if I can find um, something that I like, I'm going to do it on linen, I think, or on a coloured aider in green. Um, so I'm either going to do it on green fabric or I'm going to do it and do the white background. I haven't quite decided yet which one so that's that start. Then on the 24th um, it's a kit start and I am going to be starting Dimensions Indian Peacock. This is stunning. This will be my second Dimensions kit I've ever done. One of I did my first Dimensions kit and I mentioned it in my video. I think it was my second video um, or third video. Um, I really didn't like um, Dimensions. I really struggled with it. I didn't like the floss, how it stood on the cards. Um, I wasn't too, sorry about the glare. I wasn't too um, keen on all the blends, but obviously now I've been working with blends more. Um, it doesn't bother me as much. So, um, I'm actually really looking forward to doing this. So, that will be that start. 
Then on Christmas Day, I'm torn. I've got two. I can't decide. I'm um denied and I keep flipping through one and going back to the other. So I will be starting one of these two. I'm not too sure which one. So on Christmas Day, I'll only be working it for the one day and then I'll go back to Indian Peacock for the rest of the week. Um, I am thinking of either doing Gift of Peace by Lavender and Lace. Which is Mr. Claus, good old Santa. So I'll either be doing that or... Mirabilia Christmas Elegance. I think it's Christmas Elegance. Yeah, Christmas Elegance. So yeah, I'll either be doing that. Now, the reason I'm on an hour is because originally I was going to do this. This was what I had planned. And then I thought, well, I've already got Christmas in London going by Mirabilia. I haven't got a lavender and lace going. So I'm kind of now more thinking about doing the gift of peace, lavender and lace, and leaving the mirabilia until um, I finish Christmas in London. Um, so this might be next Christmas, this start. Um, what I would like to say is, and I'm sure a lot of people already know this anyway, um, but I also know that some people probably don't know this. Mirabilia patterns, they come with a seal, which everybody knows that. But I don't think everybody knows that you can actually open them from the side. So they open like this. So then you can just... Pop the pattern back in. She says. <laughs> and then you just... Re-put the flap in and put it back in and then you've not opened the seal so it saves opening the seal if you don't want to open the seal so yeah I just thought I'd share that little bit there <laughs> so yeah don't have to open this you can just open it from the side it's just a flat envelope that opens up like that and then you just push it back in so yeah so I'm probably going to do the gift of peace and then on the 31st um which is a Monday I am going to be starting a magazine pattern. It is called Moon Hair. It is out of the world of cross stitching. Again, I'm not too sure which issue, and we'll see if I can find out for you. It's on PDF. It is a two part, it is over two magazines, so two issues. I do believe, and don't quote me on this, I do believe it was a Heaven and Earth Designs as well. I think it was on heaven and earth. So I'll insert picture. Um, I'm going to be doing an 18 count either, I think, or maybe 16, I'm not too sure. I'm going to obviously be doing it full coverage, the um, colours that it is. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And then that'll bring us up to January. Don't know where the year's gone. Hmm, been a crazy year, so, so yeah, so that's my, oh, hang on, nearly, so most, that's my new start, my other plans for December, my morning Christmas, my morning Christmas, my morning focus piece is going to be um, the first one that I started for my 55 starts, I don't know why it's calling to me, all month I've been thinking I really want to stitch on this um, it's just screaming at me to stitch I'll probably get it out and I'll be like why have I picked this so I'll show you quickly what it is it is a kit it was the Chinese kit that I started it's the massive one the four panels so it's this I started on this panel when I started um, I'll show you where I'm up to. So this is panel one. I have done the bottom bit here. So that's what I did in five days. 
so that's where I'm up to. My goal for the end of December is to finish this panel. I want to get this panel finished. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and do that. So, an hour or two every morning. I might work on it at the weekends when it's what weekend. I'm not too sure, but that's the whole thing. You can't even see it. It's absolutely huge. Um, yeah, so the idea is, first panel, I want to try and get that finished by the end of the month. Then I haven't decided what I'm going to work on in the evenings uh, for an hour. Um, I don't know yet. Um, it's still debated. I'll just pick whatever I feel like picking. But I am going to, this weekend, I'm going to work on the um, Duran, uh, Duran Jones um, Peacock from the Cross Stitch Gold magazine. It's issue 139 and it is the one off the front the peacock and i'll show you where i'm up to with that so i'm going to work on this today and i'm going to work on it tomorrow and then it's probably going to get put away so that's where i'm up to with that so yeah so that's my plans um i might make that my evening piece as well so work on it this weekend and then work on it in the evenings i will see i'm not decided yet after two days i might decide that i want to have a change so yeah, so that's all the stitching stuff. Next, giveaway. So I did a giveaway in my last video. I was so close to 100, 100 subscribers. Today, honestly, I just... <laughs> 100 subscribers. I Still, I'm on 98, I checked this morning. So I've still not done it, but I did my 100 um, subscribers giveaway. I was giving away free things. I was giving away a DMC pattern. I was giving away a dimensions kit. And I was also giving away a bag of a variegated floss. Some bobbinated, some not opened, because I don't use it. So, giveaway. Nice and easy, this one. <laughs> So I only had one person who um, who wanted to enter the giveaway. So Beth two eight one one, um, all this is on its way to you. So if you comment, I'll reply with my email address and if you send me your postal address, I will pop this into an envelope and it will be sent to you as soon as I see somebody who can go to the post office for me. Because <laughs> as you know, um, I'm housebound at the moment, so um, yeah, it will, it will be definitely coming to you. I'm just waiting for somebody to come and visit me so I can give them this so they can post it to you. So yeah, so congratulations, Beth. <laughs> I can't, I'm looking forward to seeing you do this, this, and use all this. <laughs> all right, so yeah, so that's my plans. That's what I've stitched on. That's the giveaway. So a little bit of a life update. Actually, what I'll do is, if you're only here for the cross stitching, um, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for spending some time with me today. It's always a pleasure to get to spend some quality time with the flush cube. <sighs> with the flush tube community. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you next month. I hope everybody's well. I hope you get lots of stitching and happy stitching. So I'll say goodbye to the people that are just here for cross stitch. Okay, so life update if you're still here. Um, yeah, not much happening. I'm still housebound. I'm still... <laughs> I'm still just plodding away. Another day is a day. I'm up. I do the same thing and then I go back to sleep. But it is what it is. At least I'm smiling about it now. It's not as stressful. Um, I'm just enjoying my time where I can stitch all day because I know that once I get back into work um, I'm hardly ever going to have any time to stitch because I normally work seven days a week 10 or 12 hours a day so um, yeah it's uh, I'm enjoying it at the moment 
um what i what has changed slightly with my anxiety is that i now have a occupational therapist assigned to me so i will be meeting my occupational therapist three times a week um, which will start on Wednesday next week. And the idea is that they will help me to try and get back out into the community. Um, so I will be going out at the flat. Terrified. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. So the idea is we're going to go out, we're going to go for a walk, we're going to see how far we get. Um, I'll be lucky if I manage three or four minutes. We'll see. Um, I don't know what it is. As soon as I step from outside the front door, I'm just so anxious, so overwhelmed. I panic, I hyperventilate. It's, oh, Anybody who stuff, suffers with anxiety and panic attacks will understand. But, so yeah, so it's something to look forward to. It's, um, it's, it's a step in the right direction to getting me back into the outside world. It's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna take a lot of effort from my part. Um, and we will see what happens. So that starts next week. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're up to at the moment with that. Um, so I'll let you know what happens next month. Um, and we'll take it from there. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Again, thank you for stopping by, especially if you've made it this far. Um, I consider you all friends, um, and it's nice that, you know, I've got to spend some time with you today. So I'll say bye for now, um, and I'll see you after Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful time over Christmas. Um, hope you get to spend it with family and friends and for them people that haven't got a lot of friends or family and are spending it on their own i will be too um so you know there are other people out there that are going through the same things as you you're not alone never think that you're alone there is always somebody out there that will give you time and you know will take the time to spend time with you even if it's just talking over the internet um there are places people can call there's loads of helplines out there i don't want anybody to feel like they're utterly alone because they're not um you might be spending it alone but you're never alone there is always someone out there that will be thinking about you so um yeah i will see you after christmas take care lots of stitching Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you next time, friends. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.